Let's rewind things a little bit and go back to the time where legend has it, a little kid walked up on then NBA player Scottie Pippen and asked for an autograph or even just a picture. The Hall of Famer declined and set off a list of things that will go on to change the course of history forever when idols become rivals. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to Merchie. Hey everybody, welcome back. What's good? How you feeling? How hey you feeling, man? man? I'm chilling, man. You good? For sure. Hey, so if this is your first time tuning in, welcome to Merchie. Right. Your hip hop fragrance platform where we talk all things fragrances. All things hip hop. Hey, so if y'all didn't catch on by now, we're talking about none other than NBA legend Scotty Pippen. For sure. As well as what rap legend? Trap All Star, man. Trap, trap Ghost. In trap, my opinion. Trap Legend. Future Hendrix. For sure, Pluto. baby. Pluto. Pluto, right? Absolutely. So, man. before we get off into this, we need y'all to hit the subscribe button. Absolutely. We need y'all to hit the like button. For sure. We need y'all to jump in the comments. Let's go. Right? All right, so a little bit of backstory. Right. Right? A little backstory. NBA player, Scotty Pippen, he was approached by Future. When Future was a kid, Future yeah. asked for his autograph or asked to take a picture uh, with him. Scotty denied him. He didn't give him the picture. He didn't give him the autograph. Future, <laughs> Future harbored those feelings for years, right? And fast forward 10, 20 years later, he came across Scotty Pippen White. <laughs> Legend has it, he clapped those cheeks. <laughs> and from, and from, there, from there, we got the song, thought it was a drought. The Gucci flip flops line. A lot of y'all might know it is uh, Gucci flip flops. The Gucci flip flop uh, line. Apparently, from apparently, Future was talking about Scotty Pippen's wife in that song. That's uh, that's right. crazy, man. It's crazy. So, so the, the title of this video is "Idols Become Rivals" because right. Scotty Pippen was future rival. I mean, he was his idol at one point in time, and then they became rivals. Right. All because Scotty Pippen denied, you know. Yeah. He declined to take a picture with Future. Yeah. So Future got some give back. I just seen Mike. Uh, he just denied a fan of uh, autograph. Oh, yeah, Mike. Fan. Mike, he, he notorious for that. <laughs> Man, Mike hey. notorious for that. Hey. So before we get off into the rest of this, can you show the bottle? Yes. This, this is, is what we're reviewing. This is what we're reviewing, y'all. None other than Michael Jordan's signature cologne, man. This fragrance came out in 1996. 72 and 10 win season, man. Yeah, this this one this one I hold dear to my heart because this is the first fragrance that I purchased with my own money. I actually went in the store right. and bought this fragrance. This is the first fragrance that I caught. I'm very excited to jump into this. I've never smelled it, but this smell. came out in '96. This will be the oldest fragrance I've ever smelled. And, and this is and this is going to be my first time smelling it since about '96, '97. I haven't smelled years. it in years. We just got it in the mail yesterday. But before we get off into the review, let's finish up with this story. Right. We got it. We got it. We got to touch on this story. So, Future end up clapping the cheeks, right? Okay. Side <laughs> tip right? right. He clapped those cheeks. Gas and get back. One thing led to another. Scotty, Scotty and his wife, Larsa Pippen, they ended up getting a divorce. Right. But now she's engaged to Michael Jordan's son, Marcus Jordan. That's the wildest part about how, this. How you man. feel about that? That's like, I don't know, cause like I feel like, yo, Marcus, man, it wasn't Scotty kind of like an uncle to you? He was like an idol to him. An idol. He had to see, be like, idol. and now he's a rival. That's crazy. That man. was an idol. <laughs> Scotty Pippen had to have been Marcus Jordan item. And he had to have looked at Scotty, like you said, as an uncle. That's what I'm saying. When he was watching his old man play side by side with Scotty Pippen, he had to have looked at Scotty like an idol. That's and now that's his rival. Yeah. Shout out to Rick Ross for the title, by the way. We, we took that title from Rick Ross. You said it best, man. You said it best. Idols become rivals. That song was cold, but sure. 
that's the wildest part about this whole debacle to me, you know, and uh, the uh, ceremony's coming up next month, January the honor, the honor of the Rings, which is yes. why we're talking about this. Absolutely. And uh, we're going to see Mike and Scotty interact, you know, publicly for the first time. For the first time. They've been kind of, well, I ain't going to say they've been going at each other, but it's definitely been some high tension based off what Scotty said. You know, and it kind of got triggered by the last dance premiering back around COVID time. Was that 2020? And, you know, it's yeah. been some crazy tension between them since. And this is going to be our first time seeing them engage in public, you know, since then. Yeah, it's it gonna is. be crazy. But you know? not only not only did the it was not only was it from the did it stem from the last dance, but when Scotty released his book, in his book he said something to the extent of he didn't offer his condolences to Jordan because of certain feelings that he had towards Mike. Yeah. So when, so when Mike when Jordan's father got killed, Scotty Pippen didn't didn't. You know, reach out to him. Y'all offer, offer any type of sympathy or anything, man, because he has some type of feelings towards him. That's what I'm so saying. So all of this was revealed to Mike at the time. So they really, even though Mike Jordan has went on the record and said that he don't agree with his son and, and Larsa Pippen, you know, getting yeah. married and being together. It's crooked. But you know? it's like the relationship between him and Scotty is damaged at this point. It's, probably, it's pretty much over with, it seems like. Yeah. It's pretty much over with. It's going to take a lot to rebuild. And now we got uh, Scotty going on, talking about LeBron better than Mike. And Mike wasn't a good player before he got to the Bulls and all of these different things. He, Scotty's starting to look like a sucker. He definitely kind of looking more like uh He looking like, like a lion. He giving us the Kane and Abel type of vibe, man. Definitely. He giving us a Kane. He looking like Kane right now, definitely. man. But, it, but again, the Bulls is about to get ready to have the uh, honor of the ring. Right. This is where they're going to, I guess, award certain staff members and coaches and players. General management, you know, just the yeah, whole the Chicago pay Bulls tribute. squad. Yeah, you know? they're gonna pay tribute. And this comes, this comes on January 10th. So yep. everybody check that out. Charles Barkley say he's getting his popcorn ready. I don't think it's gonna turn into no type of WWE event or anything. Then man. again, man, Scotty surprised me thus far. I like. You think Scotty gonna come running across the floor with a chip? Me personally, I don't think he gonna do. All right, right. He ain't gonna pull a Shawn Michaels you think or nothing like that. Or you feel me? Oh. He ain't gonna do that. Yeah, but, but, but this gonna be crazy. What if like Mike tried to like try to reach out to him or something and he just denied the handshake? Whoa. That's what, like I don't know. I'm definitely not. I don't wanna. I don't think Jordan gonna do that. I don't think Mike gonna come. I don't think Mike gonna do that. I mean, Mike definitely handled himself all the time. I feel in professional manners, regardless of him denying autographs. But I mean, I we see Mike usually conduct himself as a man. I feel you feel me. And who knows? I'm not. I don't want them to be for nothing like that. But like Charles Barkley said, I might have to get my popcorn ready for you that too. Gotta check that Very out. interesting situation. So the first time we see these two together, you see this is all of this happened. You got to check this one out. I bet Mike was just sitting down and Scotty was saying all that like, dang, <laughs> I did not know that. Oh, yeah, he, he, was, man, he, know. he was shocked. I know he was a strict he was player. He said, Mike said that uh, he thought that, you know, with everything going on at the time, that Scotty, you know, just overlooked it or, or you know, it just didn't want to say anything okay. at the time. But he didn't know that Scotty actually was holding in feelings towards him and he purposely didn't give out, give him his condolences. For sure, you know, with the Scotty's credit, man, like this is not me, you know, saying that you were nothing without Mike. I definitely think Mike needed you and the rest of the uh, Bulls, man. He needed the team. Y'all carried y'all weight for sure. Y'all did y'all thing. You certainly a legend in my opinion. But what you got going on right now seems a tad bit envious, man. You're looking like a sucker. It's crazy. Well, let's know? get off into this uh, fragrance, man. And for everybody sure. check that out. It's called the Ring of Honor Night, I guess. It comes on January 10th, they're saying. Yep. Let's get off into this fragrance, man. We're gonna kick off the next year with the banger, man. But show, let's jump into the fragrance. Let's get like off into said. this fragrance. This, what's his Jordan signature? Michael Jordan Cologne, his signature fragrance. So this is this is my first time smelling this again since 96, 97. Uh we just got it in the mail yesterday. Yep. And somebody out there, if anybody knows this or not, let me know because the way that this bottle is, is it, I think it used to have rubber on it, like, but now it's plastic. The, the bottom part of the bottle, as well as the top, I remember it having like being a rubber uh, cap, as well as a rubber uh, bottom. Right. So it, it always reminded me of a, a shoe or a basketball, but now it's plastic. What you, what you getting? Uh, I'll let you smell it, man. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm, uh, this is surprising, certainly. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to smell this one. I had to smell this in years. Yeah. Okay. Let me show y'all the automizer. This is, this has a really nice automizer. Okay, it's it's it's, it, it, it's familiar. It's citrusy, I feel. It's familiar. It's kind of stink. Yeah, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. It I'm not a fan over this. <laughs> this it, it, it seems like they dumbed it down a little bit. I, I remember this smell. It smells like how it used to smell, but it's like more. It's, it's like it's real synthetic. It's very synthetic. I don't like the way this smells. Not, it doesn't smell natural at all. But I never liked it. Like, even when I got it, you got to understand at that time back in 96, we didn't really have a lot of celebrities and influences that we looked up to. You know, they had their own fragrances. So when, when Jordan dropped this cologne, it was a big deal. Whoa, you sprayed that many times of this stuff? This stuff stinks. Yeah. You're used to it. I'm trying to get a feel. I, I ain't feeling it. So this, this one has uh, cypress in it, it has grapefruit, it has lemon. Please tell me this has citrus. Cognac. Uh, yeah, I just said grapefruit. Grapefruit, yeah, yep. you said grapefruit. Uh, geranium, juniper berries, uh, lavender, cloves. It has some incense in here as well. And some sage. Now this this one is wood. It's it's, I'm, it's it's a woody fragrance. I don't pick up on wood at all. It has rose. It has Brazilian rose wood in here. Okay. I do. I don't pick up on wood. I do. I don't pick up on leather. I get. Or wood. I definitely get grapefruit. Tobacco. You get a lot of grapefruit out of this. Grapefruit and it does smell very synthetic. You know, just based off all the chords and notes you just named, no wonder it smells very inconsistent. Uh -huh. It doesn't have its own base. It's it's generic. This is it's it's very it's synthetic. It's it's, it's, you know? it's it doesn't smell good at all. But again, I never I, I didn't finish this bottle, which is why I haven't smelled this since like I said ninety six ninety seven. Because I didn't even use the whole bottle. Yeah. But I was so caught up in the hype because it was a lifestyle. You know, back then, I think 96, 97 was around the time that Jordan released the, the 11s, I believe. Okay. Something like that. No, those those shoes were a big deal. All was Jordan the, shoes uh, was Concords? a big deal. Yeah, the Concords. Concords. All shoes, all white shoes was a big deal back then. So when he dropped this, I had to have it, man. I ran to the store to get this. You know, and uh, I feel like this smells like a, I ain't going to say a typical celebrity fragrance, but just based off yeah. a lot of the ones I smell, it doesn't smell like something that a fragrance house would probably produce. This, I, you know, cheapies are definitely cool, man. There's some great cheapies like Eternal Oog. That's one of my favorite reviews, hands down. But this is a bad I mean, cheapie. This I don't know if this was cheap wrong. back then, though. It's cheap now. We we picked this up off of Amazon for twenty five dollars. Twenty five. It's cheap now, but I I don't think it was that cheap back then. This was a this was a big deal. This, okay. Yeah, this is a fragrance that you was you yeah, was getting from Macy's and this stuff. Cost like one hundred fifty. Yeah, you. No, nah, I don't know. I think this probably probably retail for about fifty dollars or something 50, back yeah, then. Feel me. Yeah, like anywhere from yeah anywhere from thirty to fifty dollars back then. We talking about ninety six. Right. This wasn't a cheap. Like now you can find it in like like discount stores and stuff. You can get it out of Marshalls or Rose. Even like I said, Amazon, we paid twenty five for this. Uh but back then, no, this this had to cost like fifty or better back then. You know, and this is very appropriate for this type of uh video, you know, considering it's sports, but I do feel like this is very familiar. It's nothing really unique about this. Like I think uh some of the guys on my basketball team is a freshman was rocking this in a locker room. Not really? this today. Not this fragrance specifically, but a oh, smell like, like this. Okay. Yes. I was supposed to say, really? This smell, yeah. And, and drop a comment if anybody out there remembers this bottle being, like I said, the top rubber and the bottom part rubber. If, uh, not unless I'm tripping, but I thought it was rubber, but now it's, it's plastic. Hey, but it, it kind of smells you, the same, but it's different. Man. What do you feel like this smells like? I'm really trying to point something out. Know. That's why it's very inconsistent, something man. Bad. <laughs> something bad. Something bad. Something bad. I don't think this is the worst thing I've smelled. This, I've, this is the worst thing I've smelled in a long time. Nah, not me. This is bad. Not me. This is bad. You know, just what would you rate this? Uh, three out of ten, man. I I'll rate this a three out of ten or two. I give it. A, I give it a two for effort. It's a two for effort, yeah, I give man. It a two for effort. This is what. Yeah, man, for this to drop around a 72 and 10 season, this was... But it was a big deal. This was the 11th loss. Drop a comment if you <laughs> was there. Drop a comment if you remember... When when this when this came out, let us know. Let us know what you think about the whole future and Scottie Pippen and Jordan debacle, man. What, what do y'all think about this whole 
what they call it, an entanglement. Digressing a little bit. What do y'all think? What do y'all think about this entanglement? Entanglement. Yeah, this is entanglement, man. man. Let us let us know what y'all think. Let the, the future get some get back. Was future bogus for getting some get back? If he got some get back, let us know, man. Is Marcus Jordan bogus for for basically taking his his, his uncle wife? Like, let us know what y'all think about the situation. Digressing a little bit, but shout out to Pluto, man. I heard he dropping a new album, man. I seen some posts on it. I'm I excited. Hope, I hope it's Dirty Sprite 2. Let's, I mean, 3. three. Let's I kick off Dirty, 2020. We need, a, we need DS3. Let's kick off 2024 with just some straight let's, heat, y'all, man. And we can kick off if, if Future can drop Dirty Sprite 3 in January, uh, January that would be crazy. Or even February. That would be cool. That would February. be crazy. Film wintertime. Drop it for right us. Right behind man. you, we got Dirty Sprite 2, the album. That's, I think that's the GOAT Trap album, man. I, I, I'm still going with Thug Motivation, but... That, it's Dirty under, Sprite man. Either one. I, I would I would put that next. I would Either put that one. next to uh, Thug Motivation one on one. Either one. If, I gotta go with Jesus man. first, and then I go with Dirty Sprite too. I know one thing. I would not go with this. Nah. Yeah, I wouldn't rock this. Nah. Man. Not at all. Stay away from it. You know. Right behind you, AJ. We got Fat Joe, the Book of Jose, Terror Squad, the Book man. of Jose. Y'all remember? Jealous one still in. Shout out to Fat Joe, a goat. A legend, For sure. one of the greatest rappers to ever do it. For a lot sure. of people don't give Fat Joe his credit, but Fat Joe is cold. I feel like Fat Joe kind of got y'all rule on the verses, me personally. I feel uh, like that. They both yeah. snap. Fat Joe definitely is underrated. I think I think y'all rule got Fat Joe. Give me Fat Joe, man. I, I, I like think Fat, Fat Joe. Fat Joe. On the verses, they gotta bring verses back. Drop a comment if you want to bring nah, verses back. I think they said. uh they said it was going to be 2023 with Timbaland and uh, Swizz. They said they was bringing it back. They shouldn't have sold it in the first place, yeah, man. They I got mean, control over it. They shouldn't have know. sold it. They should have uh, sold it. But again, fat out to, uh, shout out shout out to Fat Joe. Shout out to He just Fat posted Joe, a man. picture. He got, the easy, he got the Yeezys for Christmas. Cole got the sample pairs. The Yeezys for Christmas. Shout out to Fat Joe. Big uh, sneaker collector. You know. Other than that, you got something else you want to say? Let us know what y'all would like to see in a versus battle in the future, man. But other yeah. than that, we good. We good. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. That's it. And that's it. We out. We out, man. All right, real recognize real and you look familiar. Love you, son. Love you too, Pops. All right, we out, y'all. Much love.